Hey, how you doing? This is Neil Fontaine, the art instructor at masterpaintnow.com and Udemy, and I'll be showing you guys how to do some cool poses for comic books and things like that. This is a pencil tutorial. I'm trying to just get used to the software and everything, the GoPro. I think I got it figured out now, so now it'll all be one video. I won't be had nothing will be cut off last video. I lost some of the video because I didn't realize it stored it in separate files. Um, so these are some of the poses that went over before that I never got to show you guys because the video got cut off. Um, but anyway, that won't happen this time because I know how to use the uh, the camera and everything now. Right, so basically what I want to do is I want to kind of go through some of these poses and uh, different cool poses you can do and how you draw them. And it's really not going to be about, you know, how to shade them and stuff like that, but more how do you just come about with the initial idea for the pose. Uh, that is like a quick, like, sketch idea. You can either call it a gesture drawing or whatever you want to call it. Um, anyway, so I'm using the GoPro in narrow mode, and we'll see how that works out for you guys. And then also I'm using a, um, a lapel microphone. So hopefully this will come out good. So let's go ahead and like, let's say we're going to draw a person like sitting down, right? So basically we want to think about when you're drawing poses is keep it simple. I uh, use basic shapes, things like that, gestures, whatever feels more comfortable to you. Think about the pose first and how it should work. Um, that is, um, for example, if I'm going to have someone sitting, I know their spine is going to be pretty straight. I'm going to think about that. And I know that the length of my body is from the head to the hips is around the same down to the feet, right? So at the halfway point. And so I'm imagining a halfway point, and that halfway point in this case is here, and this is where the hips are. And so if I put the hips in here, another thing I can do, I can put my collarbones in. I can just have a basic arm coming down and cut that in half. This is where the hand would attach. This is give me a, a decent measurement. Now I know this right here is about where my ribcage would be, so I can go ahead and throw my ribcage in this area here. Now that's just a placement so I know where everything should go to make sure that the proportions are correct. Now from there, all I have to do is think about, okay, so how is this person going to be sitting? What are they going to be looking like? I have the basic idea down so far. Is it going to be for shortening the leg, um, how the legs are going to be sitting? So let's say this leg is going to be coming out at, at this way at an angle um, to the side. And then uh, you have the knee, so I just kind of do a circle for the knee. And then the leg is going to kind of overlap the calf part. It's going to overlap and come down this way here. And then I have the foot. So I just do a basic idea of where the shapes will be at first. I don't think about so much of anatomy and things like that. This is to see if the pose will work. Maybe this, maybe this um, leg here we can have more foreshortened coming out of us. So the kneecap will be here, legs like this. So it's being foreshortened and I, and I draw that like a overlapping circles. And then I know the knee is going to be somewhere here. Now this part here is not going to be foreshortened. This part of the leg is going to be the full length. And so to do this kind of thing, you really have to have uh, a grasp of the human figure as far as the proportions and stuff like that go. And for that, I have, you know, I have my courses you can look at. Um, Anatomy of the Human Figure is a really good one, or Discover How to Draw and Paint Comics, which goes through a lot of different stuff of, of, of basic painting or basic drawing skills. And so you have to have some of that down here to start, you know, getting to this point where you can like start doing these quick little sketches and stuff to make sure the proportions are right. So, so far it's looking kind of cool. The legs are like out in front of the person. Um, it doesn't quite look like they're laying flat on the ground at this point. So the ground plane would be like here for the uh, for the buttocks. It would be like right about here if you take about the think about perspective. So if I want the legs on the ground, if they're not like sitting on something, they're, they'd, be, they'd be really hard for them to sit like this. So let's make it look like the person's on the ground. That's why it's really good to do these quick sketches because you might, you know, make these little mistakes and uh, go, okay, how do I how do I fix that? Well, if you put too much time into the drawing, it's gonna be a lot harder to fix. Now also let me know if the, um, the quality, if you can see this very well or not. Um, I can actually get lower to the page. So let me go ahead and do a couple tests here. Let's go ahead and get a little bit lower we will lower my camera down here and see if that doesn't make it where we can't see everything a little bit better. That when I'm drawing these smaller poses, maybe they'll be a little easier to see. Right, so now I want to take this and I want to move my leg more this way like that to show that it is actually being, uh, let's make sure this is going to work here. Like that, so now it looks more like the you know like the leg is actually laying on the ground, and then we can take this leg here, kind of do the same thing with the kneecap, but this time we're going to take the leg. And imagine where the leg would go first. Like it's going to be over here, and my foot's probably going to be somewhere in this direction, like this. And then we got to think about you know um, let's go ahead and just get the leg in there really quickly. So about like that, and I can erase some of what's underneath here like so. Now I'm trying to draw a little darker than what I normally would draw when sketching at this point. That way you guys can see everything. 
All right, so again, we're keeping it very basic. We're not trying to draw anatomy or anything like that. Just keeping it very basic at this point, just so we can get an idea of whether or not the pose is going to work. All right, so so far, I think that's working pretty good. And this is the thinking process you go through. You just kind of think it out, make sure everything's working right. Now, what I was going to say about the foot is when you're drawing the foot, think about the inside of the leg is always where your big toe is. So the big toe is going to be on this part, and the foot's going to kind of come out like that. So always think about the, the overall shape. The leg's going to come in here, and, the, and the, we're going to see some of the heel behind the leg and from this view. Now, the upper, bar, the upper body is going to be much easier to draw. So um, we can have them like either just kind of meditating, relaxing. There's all different kinds of things you can do with the arms. Um, let's say we want this arm just kind of come down like this. And maybe the forearm's coming out toward us, so that can be some foreshortening there. And then the hand, you know, setting like this. Remember, the inside is also where if your hand, if your palm is facing down, then your thumbs will be on the inside. If palm's facing up, your thumb's been outside. And so that would be like the fingers right there and the hand setting on the knee or something or on, or on the thigh, part of the thigh. Very basic shapes, like I said. Right, and then from here, we can either turn this to a male or a female. It'd be really easy to do either one. So I try to keep them just kind of neutral when I'm thinking of poses, and then I'll think about whether if I'm just doing like a general idea of poses. If I already know I have the character in mind and everything, then I might go ahead and uh, do something a little different. Right, so... This arm can be up in the air, um, like the person's like raising their hand or like sitting down in some sort of class, whether Indian style, or the person again could just be relaxed and so they have their other arm out here, thumb on the inside, hands wrapped around like this on their knee, and it's very basic drawing like that. That's really it, it's this really basic shape. So I'm using kind of a, an oval shape for the deltoid kind of like a cylinder shape for the bicep and this kind of triangle shape for the forearm. It's kind of a diamond shape. It depends on the, on the angle it's being viewed at. And I just do that based on the anatomy that I understand and the way that the arm is facing. And it's kind of basic shape for the, for the chest there. And I can start adding just a little bit of anatomy and stuff to it. And that's it. That's a very basic uh, drawing. And if you want to see like, you know, once you have this basic idea, you can actually add a little bit of shadow to it just to see, hey, if I went ahead and used this picture, how would it look, you know, if I add a little bit of form to it? And just keep everything basic in this, you know, like you have it now. Don't change anything. Just add a little bit of shape to it with shadow. Don't really think about um, anatomy and things like that. Just think about the overall big shapes here and whether or not this image would look cool if it were shadowed and stuff like this. And, you know, this is also a quick way to get if you think the lighting would work uh, for this particular image. That is, would that kind of lighting work for this image? And I'm thinking that it would. It, usually it's pretty universal lighting works for just by any image. And there we have it. Now we have a person uh, sitting down. Right, so let's say um, we wanted to draw something like uh, what I had before, uh, this, this kind of pose here. How do we go about you know, getting this, this kind of pose down? And I'm going to have to draw a little bit smaller because she's not really fitting on there. But basically what you do is you think about the side view uh, first. And so I can even use this pencil here. So some people ask me what kind of pencils I'm using. Uh, this here is a pencil holder or a lead holder. And this is the Scott uh, B2. Uh, you can find this like on Big Art and things like that, um, online stores. It's probably harder to find it in an actual art store. I went to a couple craft stores and like that and they didn't have any. So I had to order mine online. And then these, um, I just got it, I think a regular store. This is the Energized pencil. It's by Pentel. I just like I like the way the grip fills and stuff. So I just just a basic mechanical pencil, and then you can put different kinds of leads in it. And now you can buy these different leads at art stores. The lead I bought for this one is a softer lead, so that um, it, it can I can get darker shades with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out how to do this one here. What I like to do is I like to imagine first the uh, like the side view because so it's kind of more of a side view pose. So I imagine the the side view of the rib cage, and then I kind of want to pull the back like this. So I'm kind of having this this shape like that. I'm going I'm to even make it more pronounced than I did before. I want the shoulder up high, so I'm going to make the shoulder up high, have the arm come out this way, and then we're showing the back side of the arm here, so this will be the elbow. So usually when I'm showing the elbow, I just show a little oval just to remind myself that, okay, that's an elbow. Come straight like this here, and then um, the hand. Now remember the inside of the hand, so when, you're, when your arm is facing out and let's say your palm, the knuckles are facing us, us the thumbs and be facing down. All you have to do is just take your arm, your own arm, and kind of 
you know, pulled out in front of you and think about it. Like, okay, if I pull my arm out and go like that, and you're seeing the back side of my arm, then my thumbs would be facing down. Um, if my thumb's facing up, you know, you can still see the back side of my arm, but my thumb would be facing up. So you can actually have your arm facing, you know, thumb facing up or down, and it just depends on how much of the elbow you're going to see. If the thumb's facing down, then if you look at it, you can see that it's twisting these muscles over here, and it's twisting them down this way. So I'm actually going to have the uh, thumb facing up. That'll be the thumb right here. I'm just going to kind of imagine the hand. That's a basic shape. So, you know, I don't, I don't really go into, at this stage of drawing, I don't really go into anything but the basic shapes. At least I try not to. Um, I can also start to think about where the breast will lie on the rib cage. Remember, it lies on the rib cage like so. Right, next thing is I'm going to take the neck and imagine where it's going to be here. It's going to be connecting like that. You have the collarbone and all that right here. And then the head, I want it kind of facing facing us like this, like it's kind of in a slight three-fourths uh, view. Like so. But not full three-fourths view. I kind of wanted the shoulder covering the chin more, so I think I might change the head bring it down just a little bit more like tilting it forward a little bit or something so it's actually gonna i'm gonna take the line the center line like this and that's gonna be my head here that way now part of the head is being covered by the shoulder here right like so Next thing is, um, think about, you know, what is the person doing? Are they standing on something? You know, what, what, what is the purpose of the pose? And that's how you come up with cool poses is you got to think about the actions that the person is doing in the scene. So whether it is a painting you're doing or it's a, a comic type drawing, you want to think about, okay, what's the, what's the purpose of the pose? What are they doing? And so in this pose here, let's say the purpose of the pose is that um, the, per the person's like, I don't know, they're kind of like getting ready to fight or something like that. So it's more of an action pose. In this case, it's like a female. She's getting ready to fight. I, I like to do this, this basic shape here when I do the leg um, on top of the side view. It's like that kind of shape like this. And you can see, if you look at the anatomy, why I do that. Right, I'm going to have this leg kind of coming back. The knee will be here. I just do an oval for the knee. Make sure it's all going to be in view. Have the leg come down here to the foot. Right, something like that. Basic shapes is what I is what I work with at this stage again. And then this leg here, we can have it coming out like this. The knee is out there somewhere. And then we can have the leg coming back this way. Then the foot is like this. Again, keeping the lines very basic. Um, not trying to add too much detail at this stage. And so they're standing on top of something here. This can be a rock or whatever it is, doesn't really matter. And then this is the ground plane down here. Like that, maybe have some grass and bushes or whatever. And so that would be the basic pose that I would go with for that. And so, you know, what, again, what would be the usefulness of this pose? I'm thinking, you know, this could be an interesting like fight stance, like maybe she has a stick in her hand here or something. Like that. And so she's just kind of um, there. We go. So some kind of staff or something like that. She's getting ready to fight, you know. So it's kind of a cool pose. It can also be something like she's if she's looking out straight this way, down, instead of diagonal. Have her looking out with a sideways view, and she can kind of be peering out. Um, and then her staff can kind of be more up and down, sticking away to the ground or something like that. Kind of balancing herself that way. And so you can kind of change the pose to be something else, like she's uh, hiking or something like that, and she's looking off um, over where she's going to be going. And so in this case, I would I would make a side view of the head. Oops, I'm starting to put like some hair already in there. Just basic, so side view of the head, and she's looking off that way, right? Okay, so let's do a couple more poses, but maybe do them, um, we can do these ones a little bit faster. So let's say you wanted to someone like, um, let's say you have a pose, or you have a scene where the character is going to be, 
like sneaking up on someone or entering into uh, a building or, or something like that. Um, I'm just trying to think of a quick story here uh, where the character is kind of like in a sneak, in, sneak up on someone basically. And we want kind of an overview of their back shot so we can do that pretty easily. So what I like to do is I'm going to think about the, the, how the views on look. It's be kind of a side view and kind of up. We're kind of seeing like a little bit of the, mostly the side view. So I'm going to kind of have this side view of the rib cage here and the side view of the, the pelvic bone like that. So that's kind of like the basic shapes I use for the side view. And let me know if you can see this, if that's, if that's not dark enough. Um, hopefully it is if you're, in, if you're in full screen and you guys can see that good. And then we're going to have the head and want to imagine like the shoulder. So I'm going to have my shoulder right here like this. Attach that. I'm going to kind of have the arm coming back toward us like this. And that's going to be kind of overshadowed a little bit or overlapped by the forearm here. Type of foreshortening. And then you have their hand come out and do one whatever gesture you want. You know, something more like... I, I use sometimes just like simple shapes where the, where the fingers are going to be. So something like that, kind of like curled up fingers, like they're, uh, you know, creeping up and they're like an evil person or something. And then let's see here, let's have a side view of the head. Imagine the back base of the skull. And imagine the head coming down. We might be able to see a little bit of the underside of that jaw. And maybe just a little bit of the nose. It depends on how, you know, how turned the head is. And so now they already have this kind of like creeping. Notice the back and just being the shoulder being up right here by the head and the way the arm is. And then I have it right up here against the back. I'm going to kind of have, this is, uh, that's not quite the shape I wanted. I'm going to show one of the scapula kind of pointing out a little bit like this. And I have that the neck coming off and then kind of coming out and showing the other back. You might be able to see a little bit of that part of the scapula and stuff over there and then the spine coming down the middle and might be able to see just a little bit of the shoulder over there and so having this kind of you know this is where the spine will come up right down the middle this kind of bent over look kind of you know I think it kind of suggests the character is is sneaking or doing something along those lines and then um, have like that and then this is going to be the like the belly you have the leg and the buttocks and all that coming in here, so. I think that works all right. Next thing is I'm gonna think, I'm just thinking about this back, this leg furthest away, so, you know, how are they walking? They're kind of like, almost like they're tiptoeing or, or sneaking, so this leg might come out like this here. And then the, uh, the forward leg, the leg that's in front of us might be coming down like this here, and then they're, I don't have to draw over my drawings. It's fine, you know, if you have to draw over your drawings. You can really emphasize the sneakiness by having this foot really raised up like this. And that would that would really emphasize that, you know, really comic-y, you know, almost like funny looking, to, like a comedy is what, I, was on, what I'm getting at there. Right, so very basic again, but we get the idea that this person is like sneaking and they're kind of going that way. Now we can have this leg less visible as well, um, but you know, it's kind of a side view look. And you really gotta think about um, when you're drawing, do you want to have that kind of side view or do you want to have more um, of a different view? Now how you sharpen these pencils is you um, take a little piece of sandpaper, like uh, a pretty fine grit, or even like get some uh, fingernail I, I like to use sandpaper because it lasts longer, but you can also get the actual art things with like little sandpaper and you rip each piece of paper away as you use it. But just that like 80 grit or something like that, not 80 grit, smaller, uh, finer than that. That's really rough. Maybe a, a, I don't know, 200 grit, something like that. You can go to a hardware store and get it. Um, you can go to an uh, auto parts store and get it uh, to get sandpaper. It's a little more expensive at an auto parts store. You can go to a craft store. I think they'll have they'll have the sharpeners for these the sandpaper ones. But just getting sandpaper works great, or an L file or something like that. Okay, so let's continue on here. I'll maybe do a couple more poses. All right now, the main thing is that when you're drawing poses, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this upside down so I can still use the other half of my paper here, so I'm not like wasting paper. 
Now, when you're drawing poses and stuff, you want to think about the cool factor, and I think that's really important. One of the books that kind of go into the cool factor a little bit is the How to Draw Comics by Marvel. Um, it's really cool, and there's a section, it's, it's not very long, but they talk a little bit about, you know, what makes the difference between a cool pose versus a non-cool pose, and some, like they first they show, here's the non-cool version, here's the cool version. It's pretty helpful. But basically, you want to think about what, what makes things look cool, what makes bodies look cool, what makes poses look cool. And I go a little bit of that in my course, um, in my pinup course, like how to make, and actually, actually even better that better than that would be my how to draw awesome poses course on Udemy. And that's a visual course and really cool. And I, I really do show um, like the idea behind it, the mechanics of behind what makes poses look cool versus not, not so cool. Let's say we have a, a beach scene and we have one of the uh, females is at the beach. I'm trying to bring this up close to the camera here so I get more into the camera. It makes sure I have to kind of draw a little bit different and weird, like leaning over, but that's all right. It's all for getting it better on camera. So I'm thinking about the arm shape first. I want the arm kind of kind of coming down straight. Maybe it bends back just a little bit this way, like that. So I'm gonna kind of have it come like straight at first, and then the this part of the arm is gonna kind of bend a little bit. So let's go down. Just doing basic thin shapes for a female arm. This part's gonna be just bent back just a little bit. This is the forearm part, and then her hands gonna kind of come out like this. Thumb here, hand out like that. Right, so that's how I'm imagining her arm to be. And then from there, I can base a lot of the pose off of that. And so I can have her, her back kind of coming down this way. Right, and kind of coming at a angle like this. So I'm imagining that she's kind of sitting a little bit on her side of her leg and kind of tilting her hips upward and so we're going to see a little bit of, of her of her spine like in here and that's going to come down and we're going to see the middle of her buttocks here and we're going to see kind of like both sides of her butt a little bit so we'll see one part of her butt here like this and the other part of the butt cheeks we're going to kind of see like that and they're going to be kind of flattened against the uh, sand because pressure and gravity the body pushing on it So again, just basic shapes first, basic ideas. I can imagine that uh, this is a little too, so like that there, this is gonna be her, imagine her rib cage and stuff like that right here, her hips, right? So those are the basic shapes I'm imagining. Coming off her shoulder here. Let's go ahead and imagine her collarbone. I say imagine because you don't have a figure in front of you. Um, this is drawing from your imagination. And which is really, I think, a really important skill when it comes to actually drawing figures is to be able to draw them from imagination. I'm going to draw a little bit of her stomach right here. That's where her spine, that little divot there. So I'm going to kind of change this shape a little bit as I'm going through the pose. Right now, what I want to do here is I want the head to kind of be like looking off and kind of powerful. So let's have the neck. The neck usually always comes at an angle like this when you have a side view. And then let's have her jaw coming down here. Just going to have a basic shape of the head. Like so. And then you can have her hair just doing, you know, whatever. It's going to fit on top of her head here. Maybe she has more of her side kind of really here all right so what I wanted to have is I want to make it look like she's kind of relaxed but I still want it to look cool and again that's um, where you have to kind of think about okay how is this going to look cool so so far I have her breast up high because she's kind of she's kind of turning over and away from us a little bit and then you know we have her Third page and stuff like this. I'm not sure if this is quite looking how I want it to look, but it's it's looking pretty good. And this leg I'm gonna have come out this way, like so. Draw where her knee her knee is gonna be like that, and then I'm thinking this leg is gonna kind of come down like this, and she have her toes kind of pointed. Like that. Try to make it some I'm trying to make it darker so you guys can see it. And then this leg, is she's, she's kind of laying on this leg. This leg is like giving her part of her balance, her hand, her buttocks, and then this leg is giving her a balancing point. And so her, her knee's gonna be somewhere around here. 
actually I don't know if the thigh would be that long it's got to be the same length as the other thigh and part of the thigh here is being covered so this thigh we can actually see in front of us here in our buttocks but this one here is kind of being it starts from right here so it's going to be the same length so imagine from here to here one way to do that is just kind of mark with your pencil so you kind of take a pencil from there use your thumbnail or whatever and then take that same length and you know it's going to come to about here it's just a quick way to make sure that your measurements are on um, spot all right so that's the left leg that she's laying on and then we can have her kneecap be here and then we can foreshorten the leg coming out toward us this might look weird so let's see how it looks and then have the foot There's basic shapes right now for the foot. I usually do something like that. I usually do a foot kind of like this. Like the heel, the middle part, and then the upper part. Almost like a wooden foot like that. Like a wooden doll's foot. I think that looks looks fine. And then and then I want to see, okay, how is that going to look if I were to actually foreshorten this? And come down and have the foot. Be, you know, this would be the arch of the foot carved. Like that would be seeing the big toe area. Like that and come like this. And is that going to look right for shortened? It looks pretty. It looks pretty good. Um, we probably, you know, obviously have to use a lot of bit of, a lot of shadowing and stuff to make it look right. But sometimes for shortening can look weird, and you want to kind of, you know, fudge it, like not make it as realistic. Um, or we can be like, hey, you know what? For shortening looks a little too odd there, even though it's correct and accurate. Even in a photo, it can look very weird when you're doing certain types of for shortening. So you have to like make sure the model is positioned just right so that your photo comes out good. We can kind of come out at more of an angle for this leg here, like that, and then kind of have it foot like that. So now she looks more broken though. It doesn't look as natural. And so that doesn't work either. So you have to bring her leg, like either bring her leg all the way back this way. So the legs come all the way back that way. And like that would be really still uncomfortable, but then their foot would be like right here next to her, like her buttock, kind of going like that. And then come out that way um, that still I don't think is gonna look quite that comfortable nor that cool and if the person doesn't look comfortable the poses I don't think the poses will look as cool so let's go ahead and draw the buttocks coming down here again again I made the, I made the butt a little bit flat because on that part that's where the weight's at the leg comes down it's a little bit flat and then maybe we can just um, have it to our legs kind of sideways and so we're actually seeing the back part of her calf here all right, so that's a calf muscle coming down like that. And then come down to her foot. And we're seeing the back side of her foot, so I'm going to do that basic shape again. Like that. And that gives me an idea whether or not the pose is going to work. And I think that works. So then once I, I like the pose, I think it works, then I might go ahead and add just a little bit more detail to the foot here. And uh, if you have your, if you're laying and let your foot, your, remember the inside leg is always where your toe is at, so the big toe. So the big toe is going to be like here, and the toe is going to be like that, getting smaller. All right, so that whole leg is like on its side, turn outside, um, facing us. Like we're basically in the back side of the leg because she has her way she has her body twisted up and stuff works pretty good. All right, so hopefully that works. Um, I could go longer, but it looks like, look at the camera view here, it looks like it's already 32 minutes long. That's quite a long video, I think. Um, but yeah, if you guys found this helpful and you guys like the, the pencil tutorials, let me know. I can do more pencil tutorials. Uh, let me know also what came out better for you, a camera or microphone wise, whether the just the camera that's built into the microphone or the camera that, the mic, the camera's built into the microphone. The microphone that's built into the camera, which is what I'm using now, or what I was using before in the beginning, more in the beginning of the video, uh, which was the lapel microphone uh, which plugs into the microphone and, and attaches right by my mouth um, on my shirt so I think the lapel mic would probably be the better bet another thing you can do to make this pose look a little bit cooler maybe is have this leg in where the toe is actually touching the ground and not not touching her leg that's a weird you know intersection conjunction or tangent line that we don't want um, we can also have it looked really cool if this leg would be extended up and out more too. Let's just go ahead and do that really quickly here. I just want to show this really fast so we can change this pose up by just changing the way the legs look here really quick. Uh, see I'm drawing so dark it's hard to erase the pencil but I'm trying to draw as dark as possible 
so you guys can see it. So if we have the leg you know, coming out this way more, like that, a little bit higher, like the kneecap, and then we have the uh, calf. We want to kind of angle it like this more and have the foot kind of angled like this, like at a point. I think that right there is a really cool way to draw that leg. And then the other leg, we can kind of come, we know it's going to come about this far like this. And then um, I guess we'd have to kind of angle this foot like that on the ground. Um, I don't know if that looks right. So I'm thinking the best way with this leg to make this pose look right, if you want it, if I want to really have this leg be the prominent leg of, of what what makes the pose, you know, so that I want that leg to be visible and I want to show this, this, this like pointed type of foot action going on here. That looks really cool. Then in order to pull that off, I need to think about how this leg can be to best pull that off. And I think probably be the best to kind of have the calf coming back almost like a front view like this and then um, coming down here and then having the foot like have almost a front view of the foot coming down like that have a little thigh like that so just have the foot like that coming in front um, might make that pose look the best so uh, other options might be to Again, put this leg behind this leg and uh, just have it go straight like it was before, but to go behind this leg. Another one, we can maybe have this leg come up right here and then have it um, kind of up with this leg as well, like that, and then have it come down. I'm kind of drawing through the pose and have the foot kind of like that. So both legs are up. So let's go ahead and try, let's try that one out and see how that looks. Experiment with different things, and this is why, of course, using a lighter pencil is going to be more helpful. But again, I'm trying to make it to where you guys can see everything I'm doing. I don't want to like draw super light, and you guys not be able to see what it is. So here, so have that foot kind of going like this, and so both legs are kind of touching the, their toes to the ground. It kind of adds this kind of elegancy, and she's just kind of like looking off over here in the distance um, at whatever. And this is going to be part of a, a beach scene, and this is one person that's sitting on the beach. And yeah, it can take a while sometimes to work out a pose exactly how you want it. But what you'll notice is as, as you begin to draw more and more poses, you'll kind of develop a, a sense of poses you like to use a lot. And then you'll just use a little bit of variations off that pose. Like you might draw this pose over and over again and use little different variations of it again and again. And then, you know, you might, uh, there's certain poses like um, maybe someone jump in the air that you use over and over again. It's going to just that really fits. I just want to show you how powerful this system can be when you're drawing very basically and already have the idea of, um, some of the form of the body down like you've already taken a course or, or read a book and you're good at the proportions and stuff like that so we can have a, a lady with her head here like this and then the basic shape here here hip shape and then I want to have some this be maybe kind of a, more of a front view I'm gonna kind of pull the leg and, and side of the buttocks here and this thigh is gonna come down and then um, Legs are coming out like this, but right here, so that leg is going almost straight down, and then the other leg is going to be kind of coming up at us, and maybe a little bit of a foreshortened view, like this here. You might be able to see some of the knee, and the calf is coming back down like this, and we kind of have the foot coming down like this here. So both feet are kind of pointing down, even though this leg here is being foreshortened. I'm still going to show the uh, take them off like that. Don't think about anatomy and stuff like that first. Think about the, how the think about the pose, the dynamics of the pose first, and then we can get into the dynamics and things like that. Maybe this isn't be a slight um, angle view. So what we can easily do here is change this to more of an angle view. So move the belly button where it's going to be and all that, and kind of have a angle view. And so I just draw like lines like this usually for the front and the normal you'll see a little bit of the side view of the rib cage and where the arm connects and all that kind of stuff. So right here I'm going to have the collarbone come this way and shorter here. Next going to fit in here. Angle view of the head as well. 
And then we have this arm coming up. view of the breast on this side, three-fourths view, but this, this side the breast is going to be more front view. And then uh, let's say this arm is also going to be coming up and out, same thing, I'm going to have that deltoid come out like that. I really want to show this muscle, the, the breast muscle, the breasts are being lifted up because her arms are up. Might need to make her head a little bit bigger, it looks a little bit small right now, but that's fine. Like so, and then like that. I could make her arms a little bit longer too. I think I made them just a little bit short, but that's fine. Again, this is just to see if the pose works. If you like the pose, and it does the pose work. So we're going to be seeing a little bit of the side view here as well, of the leg and everything. So because of that, let's see here. I want to show like that's her love handle and stuff and then I'm going to show a little bit of her of her buttocks here coming behind you can show lines overlapping to show that but we'll be able to see just a little bit of her buttocks there so something like that there her arms definitely need to be longer. Um, so what's cool, again, about this method is you can just erase very quickly and redraw it. And it allows you to quickly get that same effect. Like that. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this.